Ta-da! Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an easy craft project that you can do for a haunted house, for a glow party, for any time you might want to blacklight at a place, but you don't want to pay what blacklights cost, and you want sort of a safer, brighter, overall better option. Now, uh, I decided to have a blacklight party at my house, and I was looking at units online that were the traditional tube unit. And for about a four-foot tube, the best I could find was around 40 bucks. And uh, I'd been to bars before and knew you needed several of them to really light up a room. And I was hoping for a cheaper option. That's when I started to look at LED strip tape, which is much less expensive, a lot brighter, and also a lot safer. To do this project, here's what you need. You need a yardstick. I got this at Home Depot for about a dollar, and I painted the other side black. You don't need to, that's just kind of the way that I give it a nice finished touch. You're gonna wanna get a black light uh, LED tape. Now, I got 5550 as opposed to 3528. The big difference there is 3528 has one chip per housing, whereas 5550 has three chips per housing. Uh, when you open up your package, it's gonna look like this. You're also gonna get this little doohickey, technical name, that will attach it to the power supply. So let me just show you what it looks like. It's gonna be a long strip of tape that has these little LED housings on it. Once again, this is 5550, so each of these are gonna be a lot brighter than the 3528. Tape looks like this, and every three housing, you'll see a little thing that has a line through it, and has two connectors on either side. The great thing about LED tape is that you can cut it at any one of those connectors and then put it together sort of the way you do like a model train track. You know, you just hook it together, the power flows through, and that's gonna make it very easy to connect later. So you wanna put it up to your yardstick and measure to the nearest connector. For mine, it's right there. So you take your scissors, you aim for it and you cut between the two connector points. Now, if you look on the back, the great thing about this stuff is it has 3M or other brand adhesive on it. So it sticks on stuff without any glue. Very easy. I'm gonna peel off to the back of this strip, like so. I'm gonna go to the edge of the yardstick and just lay it down like that. Now as you go along, go through and press between each housing like that. Make sure you've got a good solid connection. You're often going to need to stretch it out even a little bit because as you go through the air bubbles are going to take out and uh, give you a little more distance than you thought before. Good. Now. What we're gonna do is put three of these on each yardstick. So what will end up is something that's super bright, can light up a whole room without a lot of space. And to do that, you're gonna need some connectors. Let me grab them. So these are what connectors look like. They are just the two wires with these little sort of plastic snap-on things on the end of them. I got these connectors off eBay. I think it was 20 of them for $6.99. Once again, make sure that your, your uh, LED strip and the connector are the exact same width. Most of them are 10 millimeters. They have some variations. Just double check. You'll also notice that there is a red side and a black side. Much like your car battery, red is positive, black is negative. And we always want to be going from positive to positive. So you're going to undo oops, oops, the edge. You'll see inside there are two connectors just like this. Go to the end of your LED tape. Oops. Unstick it if it's already stuck down. And thread it in there so that it lines up right there with the two connectors. And you're just going to need to wiggle it on so that they go underneath or that the strip goes underneath the two connectors. It takes a little bit of effort here. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Get on there, you. There we go. You can see now, 
two connectors are touching those little dots. Once you got it into position, snap it close. You're a third of the way there. It's just that easy. Now, you're gonna repeat this process, running it the opposite direction and sticking it down, making sure that when you connect the connectors at the end that the red positive goes to the red uh, positive side as marked by the little plus on the LED tape and the black negative goes to the negative side. Once you run that one, you're gonna zig it back the other direction again, lining up the negative and positive and finishing towards the end. Now when you get to the end, you can just leave it like that. It will still work without a connector or something finishing the circuit at the end of it. If you were going to put a lot next to each other, you could certainly hook on a connector of any length and run it to your next fixture. But uh, these are pretty bright. I can't imagine really wanting to put too many next to each other. But uh, that certainly is an option or you can just cut it off like I have. Okay, so now uh, we've got our, uh, our LED strips attached to this with the wiring done on both ends. Now, just as a extra uh, safety, not safety, just as an extra strength measure to keep it attached to the end and keep it from ripping off as something may pull these things away from it, I like to use good old fashioned scotch tape. Take one about this size, go to the end, wrap it around. The light will come through the tape, of course, because it's clear. And it'll just give it a little more resilience on the end. Uh, I'm going to do a little longer one on this side. We'll take it, tape it down like that. Go around the back, tape it down like that. Just a little extra something to make sure everything holds on to it. Now, how do you connect this to your power supply? You'll have a unit like this that will have a positive and a negative on it. And you want to unscrew the screws with a tiny little screwdriver, the kind um, you might get for a computer kit or eyeglasses. They're usually Phillips. Okay, take it and attach your red wire to the positive side. Take your black wire. Screw that in too. And now we are hooked up and ready for power. I'm gonna plug this in and now bring our adapter over to the unit. Plug it in and you will see that we have a super bright, lightweight, uh, easy to use black light that can be installed pretty much anywhere. Here's the great thing about these versus traditional two black lights. Um, it's extremely bright, way brighter than you're going to find for any uh, bulb apparatus like that. Um, it's a lot cheaper. This thing is roughly, I'd say about $22, $25, maybe even down to $20 if you make enough that you can really use every extra bit of uh, uh, LED strip tape. Um, it's easy to install without any permanent damage to hang. And LA, one of the traditional tube fixtures, you really got to put uh, some screws into your ceiling to put it on. This just weighs as much as a yardstick weighs. So you can use 3M tape, put it on the back, smack it up to your ceiling, really easy. And um, it won't break or injure anybody at a party. If you're storing these, you can store them back to back to back. If it falls, you're gonna be fine. If it falls on somebody, you're gonna be fine. It's just a yardstick. So for haunted houses, for parties, for anything where you're gonna have a lot of people around, this is really a great, cheap, easy to make option. I did it just in a couple of minutes here, and in a moment I'll show you what it looks like actually at night around blacklight responsive clothing and posters. Okay guys, so now it is the evening. I have got my regular compact fluorescents on. These are 40 watts each, and I've got my uh, UV reflective sign that says slam here going on. And you can see it's got a little bit of a glow to it, but watch as I take the light we just made and raise it and put it over it. And you can see, kabam, nice. See how bright that is there. So uh, take it away, regular, put this on it. Here's some uh, reflective paint. Here's some reflective clothes. And you can see everything is popping big time. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, try it yourself. 
It's cheap, easy, fun, and slam. Thank you guys for watching.